This is the South Dakota 511 map as of Friday afternoon showing the state's roads. No, they're not lit up for the holidays. Red is bad. Look at all of these closures here, especially this one, Interstate 90, which would take you all the way across the state to Sioux Falls, where the cats are staying tonight and where Tom Reiner had to get all of the team's equipment by this morning. Spoiler alert, he made it, but not without a few speed bumps. Has today been a little less stressful than the last couple? Amazingly less stressful. <laughs> Tom Reiner deserves every comfort his hotel room has to offer after two grueling days in the middle of our region's latest winter storm. He started out from Bozeman just after noon Wednesday in the cat's 65 foot equipment truck with a pretty easy plan. Anybody in their right mind would just hop on Interstate 90 and run it straight from Bozeman to Sioux Falls. But by the time he got to Billings, that was no longer an option. I-90 closed along multiple stretches in Wyoming and South Dakota. So he went north. Get to Miles City and the flash comes across my phone that North Dakota shut down. So I said, crap. <laughs> Time to pivot southeast to Highway 12 through Baker, where Reiner made a new friend. I get this little pickup that flashes me and it was this lady and she was the neatest lady, huge Bobcat fan up in Baker. And she said, can I please just get a picture of the truck? And I said, sure thing, lady. You know, she was so nice. He only made it another 50 miles to Bowman, North Dakota, where he couldn't see 30 feet in front of the truck anymore. So there he slept. But Thursday brought a whole new set of reroutes. There was a 45, a 37, maybe a 54 in there. I don't know. There was a lot of different roads. After getting stuck in a drift in Huron, South Dakota for a few hours, Reiner finally pulled into Sioux Falls after an 11 hour day. And it's like 300 and something miles. So I couldn't have taken any longer if I tried. <laughs> for someone used to driving under the radar, his journey garnered quite the following. You know, it's been incredible. My beautiful wife, Melanie, uh, she let me know the people around Bozeman were pretty concerned about it. Now that I'm here and I've been on social media, I've seen there was quite a, quite, a, quite a bit of people concerned about it. The team had it a little easier. Here's the charter leaving a clear Bozeman airport Friday afternoon. Everything will be waiting for them when they get to Sioux Falls. All Reiner wants in return? I hope it's a, a lot better coming home. And hopefully a winning trip back for you. Yes, 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 for sure. Go Cats. Casey Conlon, MTN News.